weight gain is one of the most common complaint of almost every individual and especially if you have a thyroid imbalance then the poor thyroid gets all the blame but do you know that besides thyroid imbalance there are plenty many other health problems which can exist together and can make you gain weight and you might not be able to realize that unless and until you find out about it what are those health conditions that's what we are going to see today namaste my name is dr tanvi mayur patel i'm an endocrinologist a hormone specialist a doctor from mumbai india now before i begin this video one important information if you want to watch this video in hindi language then on the i button and in the description box there is a link if you click on that link then this video will be played in hindi language for you agar aap aaj ke is video ko hindi bhasha mein dekhna chahte hai to upar i button pe aur niche description box mein ek link maujood hai agar aap us link pe click karenge to is video ko aap hindi bhasha mein payenge so let's begin our today's topic that's a weight gain and how thyroid and other health problems are associated and causes you the gain of your weight so in that the very first is the slow metabolism now what is a metabolism see the food what we consume this food has lot of nutrients and this nutrients has to get converted into energy and who will do this this will happen inside your cell there is a special organelle called as a mitochondria so it is this mitochondria which is a power house of the cell and makes the energy how fast your food will be converted into the energy that is what we call it as a metabolism so if your metabolism is fast you will be converting your energy fast and less chances that your food will get stored and if your metabolism is a slow in that case the excess of the energy will be converted into a fat and gradually it will make you gain weight now metabolism of us is controlled by a mainly a thyroid hormone so in that we have a two hormones t3 and t4 hormone the t3 is the hormone which is the most active hormone so it is this t3 and a t4 hormone together helps in controlling your metabolism so when you have a hypothyroid wherein your thyroid levels are less so your metabolism reduces and that also causes you the weight gain another thing with the hypothyroid patients is that their body has a very slow bmr now what is bmr it stands for basal metabolic rate see even though throughout the 24 hours a day we may not be physically active however even at that time there is a metabolism which is continuously going on inside our cells so even at a resting when you are not actually doing a physical activity our metabolism is there and this is called as a basal metabolic rate so people who have a hypothyroid their basal metabolic rate is less and because of that when they are not doing anything any physical activity especially due to the low metabolism their body converts the energy into fat very easily a one very good way to boost up your basal metabolic rate is doing a physical activity or an exercise when you do exercise your metabolic rate does not increase only for that particular time but another 23 hours the metabolism still remains high so that is a one good trick to increase your bmr is to have a physical activity so that was a very first condition second problem with the thyroid imbalance is the fatigue the fatigue is nothing but a tiredness see when you have a thyroid imbalance people invariably have a fatigue complaint and because of the fatigue they do not find sufficient energy to do any kind of a physical activity 
and because they are not doing any physical activity they are gaining weight and this weight gain further leads to more fatigue so this is actually a vicious or a circle cycle which continuously going on not only that the people who have a thyroid problem also have a another condition called as a fibromyalgia again in fibromyalgia patient usually have a lot of chronic fatigue we also have a chronic fatigue syndrome so these all conditions also exist along with the thyroid imbalance not only that the thyroid patients usually have a impairment of their nutrient absorption and that leads to lot of nutrient and a vitamin deficiencies and all of that will also contribute to fatigue also it is found that the people who have a thyroid imbalance they also have a iron level and a hemoglobin level imbalance and that also contributes to fatigue so all of these fatigue which gets created into the body and that makes a person less likely to do physical activity and reduce weight and that's the reason why such people are usually living a sedentary life and that indirectly leads into the weight gain all right so that was the second condition the third condition is a painful joints yes see what happens when you have a thyroid imbalance the up to some extent there is a achy joints and this there is a swelling in the joints and because of that when a person tries to do exercise they find it very difficult to do the exercise not only that when you have a thyroid imbalance you also have a higher chances of having the rheumatoid arthritis which is again a joint pain problem and few thyroid patient also have a condition called as a carpal tunnel syndrome and in all this condition there is a lot of pain there is a lot of stiffness in the joints and that reduces the capacity of a person to do exercise and again when you don't do exercise when you're not physically active you have a easy tendency to gain weight so that is the third condition the fourth condition is a depression see when you have a depression okay uh, you do not feel good in yourself you lack all the motivation and it is found that the people who have a thyroid problem also have a depression problem in fact who came first is it a depression or is it a thyroid imbalance it's like a answering a chicken and a egg question so it is found that the people who have a depression they have a thyroid problem and same thing vice versa but many a times what happens that when you have a depression many times the thyroid is not diagnosed and because of that many of the times the patients take a antidepressant medications and many of the times these antidepressant medications also make you gain weight second thing is that when you have a depression some lithium containing medicines are also prescribed again this lithium containing medicines disturbs your thyroid and causes more imbalance another problem with the depression because they lack of the motivation is there these are the people who end up eating lot of junk food lot of processed food lot of sugar when they get bored or when they are in a low mood and again this leads into weight gain when there is a depression these are the people who usually like to isolate themselves and because of this isolation they usually live a very sedentary life and that sedentary life further contributes to the dip, uh, to your weight gain so depression invariably in a many ways makes you gain weight fifth reason is a fear of failure and a poor results now see people who have a thyroid problem they have a weight struggles and they have tried invariably times to lose their weight but many of the times either they do not achieve the result or if at all they achieve the result the result is a very very less compared to the effort what they have put and sometimes the whatever weight was lost gets rebound and you gain weight again and due to all such events the person usually lacks the motivation and they have a fear that again i will fail and this fear of a failure and of the poor results make them into a state of a rebel yes 
such people also go into the rebellious zone and they end up giving up on their weight issues and that's the reason why they end up eating lot of junk food processed food and a sugar and a carbonated drink so this is actually a more of their body they want to take a revenge that listen you don't want to uh, lose weight i will do whatever i want and this mental issue when it happens to the people again they land up in a weight gain another reason of the weight gain is the inflammation now inflammation is nothing but a some kind of a internal swelling and this swelling happens at the cellular level and because of the cellular level of the inflammation these are the inflammation which contributes to the many health problems and thyroid is just one of it this inflammation will later on lead you into joint issues inflammation later leads into the sugar imbalances and the major contributor of these inflammations is our today's lifestyle lifestyle of eating a processed and a junk food lifestyle of consuming easy to available food and a white sugar which is considered one of the most common reason of inflammation another reason of the weight gain is the imbalances of other hormones now what are the other hormones let's find out in that the very first hormone is the insulin see insulin is a hormone which helps in a balancing of our blood sugar this insulin hormone it secreted from our pancreas which is a small gland located in our abdomen it is found that the people who have a thyroid imbalance also have a insulin resistance and it is this insulin resistance which also causes the weight gain and it is found that the people who have a thyroid problem has some or the other level of the insulin resistance and when that is not addressed the weight loss becomes very very slow also it is found that the people who have a thyroid problem also has a another health problem that is a pcos and this pcos is also contributed by the insulin resistance and this insulin resistance in totality causes the weight gain and makes it difficult to lose weight another hormone what we talk about that is a leptin now leptin is actually a very very small hormone and which is very important for the weight management similar to the insulin even the people who have a thyroid problem they have a imbalance of the leptin hormone and their level of the utilization of the leptin is very very low and that causes to a condition called as a leptin resistance and it is this leptin resistance causes the weight gain another imbalance of the hormone that is the prolactin when you have a thyroid hormone especially when it is not controlled it causes the imbalance of the prolactin and it is said that even a prolactin imbalance causes the weight gain another very important is a growth hormone or what we call as a gh hormone see growth hormone is secreted by from our pituitary gland and it is this growth hormone which helps in overall health of our body so when you have a less of a growth hormone in your body you tend to gain weight you tend to have a more fat mass and you have a less of a lean body mass so make sure that you check for your growth hormone deficiency also similarly if we talk about the men then men also have a less level of the male hormone that is a testosterone testosterone hormone helps us in losing weight and when there is a lack of the testosterone hormone that also contributes to the weight gain so we saw that along with the thyroid you have a insulin hormone you got a leptin hormone then we have a, um, a, a testosterone growth hormone prolactin many hormone whose level gets disturbed and all of that contributes to the weight gain see understand all hormones are very closely linked with one another so if there is an imbalance happens to the one hormone the other hormone invariably gets disturbed similarly is a cortisol hormone 
and that is happening because of our increased mental and a physical stress as and when we are living in a urban life and the life has become very very stressful and when you are living in a chronic long term stressful our cortisol hormone that is a stress hormone level increases and it is this increase of the cortisol makes you gain weight also it is found that the people who have a thyroid problem also has a problem of a cortisol hormone and that is the cushing syndrome and when you have a cushing syndrome again your tendency to gain weight increases another condition that is a fatty liver now fatty liver is a condition wherein the imbalance of the liver functioning happens see the hormone t3 and t4 which is produced by the thyroid gland this hormone has a very important metabolic reactions which happens inside the liver so if your liver is not working in a correct way you will have a tendency of having a fatty liver and it is found that if you have a fatty liver your body cannot utilize the nutrients in a correct way and makes you gain weight so next time you do get yourself tested for the fatty liver another condition of the weight gain is a gut dysbiosis now what is this see our intestine is a one of the very important part of our immune system and in our intestine we've got a plenty many kinds of the bacteria or what we call it is a microorganisms many of the microorganisms are beneficial and many of these microorganisms are not beneficial however inside our digestive system there is a balance of both of these microorganisms and that we call it as a microorganism flora and when due to continuous usage of the antibiotic medication then the painkiller medication and the acidity medications and the chronic stress and our poor dietary habits all of these causes lot of imbalance of these very important microorganisms balance and when the disturbance happens at that time there is a lot of increased level of the bad or harmful microorganism and this imbalance is called as a gut dysbiosis and when you have a gut dysbiosis these are the people who have a weight gain problem and this weight gain usually does not respond to the conventional medications unless and until this gut dysbiosis is solved and to do that you can include lot of prebiotics and probiotics in your diet and avoid all these medications so that the imbalance does not happen all right so these are the few conditions we saw today which coexist along with the thyroid problem and that contributes to the weight gain but eventually the moment a person says that the weight gain is happening they eventually leave it to the thyroid but remember one thing that if you have a thyroid imbalance and if your thyroid problem is corrected properly and optimally and all other health conditions are addressed correctly you will be able to lose weight and by the way how do we lose the weight i have made another video for that you can watch that so you will get a more detailed information and in a thyroid condition what kind of foods to be eaten and what should be avoided i have made another video for that so you can watch that so that will give you full detail information i hope after watching this video you got some good useful information if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe so that you will get more and more health related especially diabetes thyroid and hormone related information If you have any of your personal question whose answer you are seeking for write it in the comment box I try to read and answer those questions as early as I can and then there is a bell icon if you click there as in when my new video will be published you will get an instant notification we will meet again with some new good useful information till then take care of yourself namaste